Hi everyone, I am finally able to show you this vid. Um, I got some more of my Listia stuff in and um, so I decided it was time. I've got uh, one more thing coming um, but I didn't want to wait on it so here we go. Um, and this is the free stuff that I got on Listia and this first one is from one um, seller and um, basically I saw this and it had a lot of really nice stuff in it so she had it on auction but I um, asked her if she would take up um, get it now price and I offered her X number of credits and she said sure and so I was very excited to get it. She actually had um, more of these but I like this one because there's a lot of very particular items in it that I thought um, I could use for the Art of Cake um, charms which is like my big thing right at the moment I think. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to show you some of this. Like this one is missing the stone out of the center. A lot of these came and the stones were missing. I dug around and found a lot of them so they're complete now. And um, I just glued them back in with some glossy accents. But there's some really, really neat stuff in here. There's a bracelet that's complete. And I thought for Art Cakes these little panels would be really, really cool. I'm sorry you guys, I'm not on the good camera tonight. Um, there's some of these in there. I think she had pulled the cameos out. Oops. And um, then put the, the empties in here, which is fine with me. I think they're, I think they're pretty cool. Anyway, um, there's all kinds of neat stuff in here. There's a couple pairs of earrings and um, some really pretty little pins. I wish I was on the good camera so you guys could see the detail of some of this stuff. Um, a lot of really pretty brooches and there's a bunch of these little buttons and there's some actually some pretty cool chain and um, these flowers that are in here are pretty metal flowers are pretty neat some of it's kind of weird but yeah it'll make it makes up for the rest of the stuff that's really pretty these are like I guess clay flowers or porcelain or something really pretty um, Anyway, I'm just going to show you just a couple of the really kind of neat things. And my son has already gone through this and he already got some cool stuff. There was a transit token and some leaf um, earrings, look like gold dipped leaf earrings. So he got those. I don't know. He got a pile of stuff. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this. And she was real sweet to take my, um, my get it now. But, um, anyway, so there's that. <clears throat> and then I got, let me put this here. Then I, this was the first one I actually, I got. And this one, she had a Get It Now price on it. Um, so I just used the Get It Now. These are Tim Holtz word sticks, which I don't have a lot of Tim Holtz. I have, like, the paper clips and the memo clips. And I have a box of fragments that I've had forever. But other than that, I don't really buy Tim Holtz stuff because it's kind of pricey. And I usually, when I have a coupon, don't typically want to get this stuff. So I got that. And then she was real sweet. She sent a whole bunch of freebies. She sent those. Let me see if I can move that. And she sent a whole bunch of little, um, like, gears and little metal numbers and stuff. So that was really cool. And so I'm going to put her on watch, you know, see what kind of other stuff she does. And then today, let me see if I can fold that. I finally got this one, and this one's pretty cool. Um, these are, I got a whole bunch of wooden spools of thread. And, um, let me see if I can get them all out. <clears throat> My daughter was helping me do this. This is the second time I had to film this. I have to start over. I ran out of memory, so I have to break it in half. But anyway, I got all of these, um, thimbles. And, um, some of them look like they're pretty old. This one looks like it's really old. It's like brass or something. But anyway, I was really excited. I don't have any. This one's pretty old, too. I don't have any thimbles. I I mean, I think I have one that I actually, in my sewing box. Um, and this lady sent extras of, of both the threads and the thimbles, too. So that was pretty cool. Um, she has a lot of really neat stuff. So I'll put the um, their names below. And basically, if you sign up for Listia, it's like a trading site. And you 
put stuff on, you sell, and you get credits, and then you use those credits to buy stuff from other people. And the reason that that I decided to do this, and, and I signed up through Candace, so if y'all sign up through me, I get credits and you get credits, and I'll put my link, you know, my link below. And she's helped me answer questions and stuff too, so that's helpful to have somebody that has done it a little while. And I'm gonna do a second video um, with some of the ins and outs, things that I found out. Um, but anyway, I am, my husband and I are power sellers. We've been selling on eBay since probably about 1997, I think, somewhere in that ballpark, and we do eBay Motors, um, which I don't know if y'all are familiar with the fees that eBay and PayPal take, but um, for us, it's about 14.5% between the two of them, 145 to 15, I believe. Um, so it's a big chunk between paying your fees um, you know, when somebody uses PayPal or when they buy something from you, a huge chunk comes off. I had a whole pile of stuff here at the house that I had at one point or another was going to put on eBay. And when I went to research to see what to price it at, um, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't, they weren't selling for hardly anything. And by the time you paid fees and, and I didn't, it wasn't even worth me packing it up to ship it. I just said, forget it. And I piled it in the room. Well, when I saw Candace's video, I thought, you know what, I got all this crap that I have just constantly, it's not worth throwing it away, um, but it wasn't worth selling on eBay, so I just kept putting it away. I'm like, this is perfect. So, I went ahead and did that, and um, the stuff that I put on at first was really awesome. Um, I got lucky, let me tell you why, because when you're new on Listia, you don't, you can't set the starting bid, you cannot put a get it now on there, you basically put it on there for zero, and if somebody bids one credit, they win it for one credit. Um, which is kind of stinky, but um, I can tell you do not be in a hurry if you want to sell on Listia unless you go and buy credits, which you can actually buy them for like money. Um, it takes a while to be able to get your credits for you to turn around and spend them um, because you post stuff and it takes like a week, I think, for the, the run time. And if, if you do sell it, <laughs> um, you have to ship it. Now you wait for the people to get it. If they're sweet, they'll go in, they'll mark they got it, they release your credits. If they're not, Lysia gives an X amount of time, like 10 days, 11 days, one of them was 15 days. If they don't go in and mark that they got it, then you have to wait that time for them to release your credits. So it can take, you know, a good long while before you can actually go in there and spend your credits. Um, I just happened to get, when I sold my stuff, people that you know they were nice and they marked it now one lady that I bought from this lady um, when I won her item her credits were automatically released so I'm assuming she's a veteran uh, listian is what they call them so she didn't have to wait for hers um, but anyway I think it's a great idea if it's stuff that you don't really care about um, that you don't have any other outlet for um, you can find all kinds of really neat stuff and, you know, until you have credits, I wouldn't suggest, I mean, you can go on and look to see what's on there, but, you know, it changes all the time. But if you go on there, it's going to take you a while before you can actually win something, you know, before you get those credits. And if there's something you really want, you know, hold your credits so they have a large amount of credits to either buy that item with the Get It Now or possibly win that item. Because I can tell you, you're not going to be going on there winning stuff for like 200 credits. I mean, some of this stuff goes really high. There's people putting Tim Holtz stamps on there. And, I mean, they go like crazy high. So I guess it just depends on what you want. And there's all kinds of stuff. I'm Right now I've got um, a bid on something that I hope maybe to show later on down the road that I really want. Um, something I don't have access to around here. And... Um, so anyway, I'm going to do a second video for this because I tried to do one before and I couldn't squeeze it all in on some of the things that I learned. Um, but I just wanted to show off my goodies. I was really, really excited about all this stuff. Um, it was worth the credits that I spent because I'm really happy with it. So if you get stuff that you're thrilled with, um, then it's, you know, it's totally worth it. And, um, but anyway, yeah. So that was it, guys, and like I said, I'll put I'll put links below, and I'll list the sellers that I got this stuff from, and I'll put my link down there. So if you decide to go to Listia, I would appreciate if you saw my video and you watch my tip, the next one will be a tip video, that you use my link when you go to Listia, that, you know, that I get credit and you will get credit. Anyway, y'all have a good night, and um, thanks for watching. Bye.